Another hellhole. How long do you think we'll stay this time? Okay, thanks. See you Monday. Bye. Izzy, come help me unpack. In a minute. Okay, and what time? Yeah, a little later would be better. Okay, six. Six would be great. And who's coming? Just read, read me the whole list. Yeah. Mom. Okay. Can you drive me to get a new skull slam? Okay. I don't know how many times I have to say it. Okay. Okay. Wait, just hold on. I used to love reading these as a kid. That one came with free makeup. How cool is that? Next go, Sam, please. Okay, X. Last check-in was three years ago. Wow. You're going on your ninth year. Not many of us get to last that long. So congratulations, you are eligible for retirement. All your benefits are outlined here in this folder. Hey, I understand, but don't you think she might be getting a little old for you? Uh. Why don't you watch this video? So you've grown attached to your human friend. It's every imaginary friend's duty to provide companionship, entertainment, and comfort in times of need. But at a certain age, the child needs to face life on their own. If the imaginary friend stays too long, the child will be unable to distinguish between the human world and the imaginary, which can lead to irresponsible decision-making, alienation from their human peers, and emotional distress. We hope you will make the best choice for your human friend. Look, I can tell you really like your kid, but what are you going to do when she starts to take an interest in other people? Just Think it over. Hey, that's cheating. It's okay, come here.
No, great. Uh, that's great news. Okay, thanks. Bye. <sighs> Anything exciting happen today? Like if you made friends with some kids in the neighborhood, maybe you'd be a little less gloomy. Girl presents how to lure your man and keep him. Step one, the look. Play up your eyes and lips, boys love that. Step two, topics. Always have something interesting to talk about. Step three, use your hot bod. Show some cleavage to really drive them wild. Step four, be confident and aloof. Smart, but don't make him feel dumb. Sexy, but not too sexy. You sure it will work? Now go get your man. Hey. Uh, hey. Did you hear about the lady who just gave birth to a pig and a goat in Arizona? No. What are you reading? Um, uh, Death Nights. Oh. Have you read the one with Lord Meltface? Yeah, only like a million times. Um, did do you want to read one? Yeah. I, I mean, no. Sure, whatever. This is the first edition of when Death Hands meets his mom. Uh, yeah, it took me it took me six months to track it down. Cool. I'm gonna go grab a soda. Uh, do you want one? Um, sure. I think it's not going terrible. Mm. I don't know about that. Don't you think that's a little weird? Okay, fine. I'll tell him when he gets back. Who are you talking to? Um, no one. I, I wasn't talking. I heard you. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Just then, you looked at something. No, I didn't. You know, I just remembered, I, I, I gotta go, um, I gotta go help, help my dad mow the lawn. Backyard, sorry. I think I just need to be alone right now. Please. Like you need something strong. Bartender. What happened to you? Oh. Yeah, been there. 
Let me show you something. This is Ben. We had a couple of really great years together. Then all of a sudden he started playing with other kids. When Ben got invited to his first sleepover, he begged me to stay home, but I wouldn't. He ignored me all night and I got mad. We got into a big fight in front of his friends, and then they thought he was a weirdo and sent him home. When we got back, he told me he hated me, and that was the last time I saw him. I never even got a chance to say goodbye. Let's go home. What are you doing? Hey. Uh, hey. Got any new weird news to tell me? Yeah, sorry about that. People say stupid things when they're nervous. Um, I just got the new exploding butt. <laughs> 